right, lesson 13. Multiple symbols of inclusion, more on order of operations, and products of signed numbers, like negatives, uh, when you're multiplying a bunch of negatives. All right, so we've got, like, all of these lovely parentheses, okay? So you want to start inside your, like, inside most parentheses, okay? So I've got this and this. That's what we need to simplify first, okay? So I'm going to rewrite the 3 with the weird bracket parentheses. I'm going to rewrite the 2. Then I got the bracket. All right, and then I need to simplify this right here. So everyone, what is negative 4 minus 3? Yes. You need to keep the parentheses. Don't drop them yet. Okay? Keep the parentheses there. All right, now we have another one, negative 8 minus 2. Everyone, what is that? Good. It makes a bigger negative, negative 10. All right, and then I have the minus 4 with the bracket and the weird bracket. Okay. All right. So inside those parentheses, be sure you keep the parentheses. Now we can simplify these parentheses next. Okay. So next I'm working inside the brackets right there. And just if I look inside those red brackets, what do I have to do first, everyone? Yes, I have to multiply. So I have three and then a squiggly bracket and a two. And I've got this bracket. And I need to multiply this first. That would be positive 70 because it's negative times a negative. And then I have the minus four and the squiggly bracket. All right, now I need to go ahead and subtract. 70 minus four is 66. Okay. And now I multiply, and you really can multiply in any order. So you could do the 2 times the 66 or the 3 times the 2. All right, I guess I'll do 2 times 66. All right, let's get that over with, 132. All right, that's 132. And then I got to multiply that by 3, 396. Okay. All right, let's do some more. Now, when you have a division sign written like this, it's like you have parentheses, okay? The entire top and the entire bottom are basically parentheses. Um, so you gotta start on your inside most parentheses. All right, so inside most parentheses is this guy right here. So I have a negative three, squiggly bracket, bracket. All right, everyone, what's negative 4 minus 1? Negative 5. Should I get rid of these parentheses yet? No. Okay, you might get confused if you do. And then the 3, and then the bracket, and then the minus 5, and then this. Okay. In the denominator, same thing. I need to go ahead and subtract here inside my parentheses. So everyone, what is 4 minus 7? Okay, and you must keep the parentheses, okay? All right, now parentheses are super important or you might accidentally add or subtract, right? So right here, I need to multiply next. So now I'm gonna work inside these brackets and that means I'm gonna multiply. So I have negative three, squiggly bracket, and then I have negative five times three, which is negative 15. You can get rid of the brackets now. Is this negative 5 multiplying or subtracting, you guys? It is subtracting. Very good. All right. It is not multiplying. It would have to have parentheses. And in the denominator, I can go ahead and multiply those to get negative 6. Now I got to do inside these parentheses. So I have negative 3. And you can just switch these to normal parentheses. Negative 15 minus 5. Everybody, what's that? Negative 20 divided by negative 6. I'm going to go ahead and cross cancel the 3 and the 6. So 3 goes into 3 once, and 3 goes into 6 twice. Then you could cross cancel the 2 and the 20, right? Which is a nice step. So it just kind of helps you reduce. 2 goes into 2 once, 2 goes into 20 10 times. All right, now be careful with your negatives, okay? I have a negative times a negative, which is what? Yep, and this is 1 times 10, so that's positive 10. <clears throat> Divided by here, like a negative 1 is what's left, which really is then negative 10, okay? 
All right, this is just making sure you know how to do like a bunch of negatives multiplied together. Um, so you guys, if you have a negative times a negative times a negative times a negative, how many negatives are there? Four. So that's an even number. So is your answer positive or negative? Okay. If you have an even number of negatives, your answer will be positive. You can multiply in any order, so whatever you like. Okay, I'm going to do this times this, which is positive 4. And then I'm going to do this times this, which is positive 9. And then I'm going to multiply those together, which is 36. And then I just double check and make sure I got a positive, okay, because of the four negatives. All right, now I have negative, 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 negative 2. All right, how many negatives are there? So my answer is going to be, all right, that's really all they're asking, is can you figure out the negatives? So any even number means positive, any odd number of negatives means negative. Is the following a positive or a negative? Do not multiply, give the reason. All right, you guys, let's count how many negatives. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. What's the answer going to be? Negative. Good job. Okay. All right, let's try some whiteboards.